looking to press his advantage right now, planning another three factories. Definitely. Uh, uh, you just gotta love the way Lita uh, held that defensive line. This great layering of siege tanks. And, uh, you know, Firebat Hero just going straight in. Didn't even bother to move his... Uh, his barracks down to see that you know he just looked at the first line and that was just he just out defended him straight up was, yeah i mean i don't know if he had ha had that planned out or if that was just reinforcements and uh coming up to defend that bridge but um nice troop placement but still you know firebat hero does still have a couple of tanks out in the field so he does have a little bit of a map advantage until this dropship comes into play the dropship is already out and i think it's loaded up with four vultures uh, Lita also making a single scout, or excuse, excuse me, a single wraith uh, scout. Nobody builds scouts. <laughs> <laughs> especially not when they're here. Yeah, especially <laughs> not. <laughs> but here it comes, the first drop, two vultures so far, but uh, Firebat Hero, maybe um, maybe knowing this is coming, already had two tanks just sitting there waiting. Maybe those are just reinforcements too. It's hard to tell whether or not they're <laughs> planning ahead or just rallying troops down to the bottom it's of their base, so but <laughs> it is. Faster than I'll ever do, I'm sure. <laughs> um, but so that drop kind of being a failure, but uh, regardless, it is going to be able to get him a little bit of map control later on the game, and he might be able to delay some expansions uh, due to those dropships. Yeah, and he was able to get those mines in there so he can, uh, you know, scout out a little bit, see what's coming out of those, those uh, some of the factories. And uh, I'm sure, you know, that was maybe a nice secondary goal of his. He can tell now if a dropship's going north, if he's going to, you know, send a dropship for another expansion up there. And here we go. Uh, Lita just totally knocking out all of the siege tanks, I believe. Uh, yep, there they, there they fall. And uh, Firebat Hero, I don't know, kind of clumsily bringing up two more tanks. He has enough, I think, to... to at least counter uh, and take out those vultures, but, you know, just sort of chilling in the center. Yeah, he could uh, maybe retake that position, but, you know, it's it's hard to say with all these mines that Lita's planting everywhere. Um, you know, Lita's do just doing a nice job of planting his mines around the siege tanks. So there's one mine that hits right there. He's able to clear out both of those tanks, and now Firebat Hero is once again forced back a little bit. So very slowly, Lita is being able to just inch his way out of his base and uh, might be able to get another expansion pretty soon. Firebat Hero actually is taking the uh, taking the initiative and planning down his third base over in the nine o'clock position first. Oh, sh well, it looks like we missed the split on the first video. So uh, I apologize for you know the videos being awkwardly split. We're already late, so I'm gonna <laughs> we'll just roll with it. Yeah, we're just gonna roll with it. I'll split up the videos like I normally do next time. <laughs> Sorry, just got a little out of hand. Sam just pointed out the. Uh, the time on that and once again another drop going down for Lita in the natural expansion oh, and that nice. siege tank gets off a hit but it looks like he didn't get any kills on that I don't know maybe one or two of those SCVs died but uh, he is gonna be losing this um, this drop force yeah, without like doing all that much damage pretty nice reaction by Firebat Hero yeah it looks like his attention was definitely elsewhere uh, this unit's not even moving not even placing down any mines uh, they might have already been empty but you know he just let them attack the uh, refinery so Obviously, his attention was more likely on the center area, and it looks like uh, he is surrounding the tanks. It's not going to help him very much because of the way Lita, yeah, Lita, you know, layers his tanks. So you, if you surround them, they're not going to necessarily kill each other. He's just going to have them not attack. Yeah, and he was able to deal with all those vultures before they got any mines, which is uh, once again pretty nice. I mean, maybe a little bit sloppy by Firebat Hero, but either way, um, you know, Lita's playing a great game right now, and he's. I think he's. Uh, He's got got a chip on his shoulder, maybe after after <laughs> last week. Um, you know, he's just been he, he hasn't been playing at the same level that he has been playing <clears throat> in the past. And Lead is actually just he's macroing up. He's got I don't know maybe six factories now, while Firebat here I believe is still on two or maybe three. Um, and he just has so much of a troop advantage right now, but he really needs to, if he hasn't scouted it out already, he needs to find out about this um, 9 o'clock expansion from Firebat Hero and stop it because he is not going to be able to out-macro Firebat Hero uh, for very long while being one base down. Ex of course, while I'm saying that, <laughs> he is floating over Command Center to grab his third base, but um, another thing that is uh, kind of... A weird quirk about this map is just how the expansions are laid out, you know, 
the person in the counterclockwise position from the other player. Okay, so if the two players are adjacent and one of them is so one of them is clockwise from the other and one of them is counterclockwise. So in this case, Firebat Hero is in the clockwise position and uh, Lita's in the counterclockwise position. Um, you know, <clears throat> those expansions move out counterclockwise. That third expansion is in a counterclockwise position from your main base. Um, so what I'm trying to say is that person in the clockwise position has a little bit of advantage because the other player has to put the third expansion very close to your natural expansion. So just because of the distances involved in that, um, you know, Firebat Hero gets a little bit of a spawn position advantage just because he's right there. He does not, however, get any advantage against these dropships coming in and sieging from inside the main base down towards the natural expansion, and SCVs coming off the line to defend it. Very impressive. He's pulling off these SCVs, and uh, it looks like Lee is just going to let those tanks tanks all fall, but he took out a good number of SCVs, but it hurt on that refinery, which, you know, doesn't really mean anything, but also, you know, just the ease in which he's able to float into this base is, you know, just sort of setting the tone and the emotional state for Firebat Hero. I'm sure that even though he's, uh, he was up, up, up on a base maybe for a few moments longer or earlier than, uh, than Lita, he's, he's on the defensive. I'd say he's on his, he's on his heels. Oh, yeah, man. absolutely. And now there you go. Lita is putting down a fourth and maybe even a fifth base in the northeast. There's some yellow blob, but I'm not sure what it is. He's definitely taking it up that uh, base in the three o'clock position um, and quite possibly posturing to take the base in the northeast as well. Um, and he's still got four dropships out, you know. He's been doing a lot of damage, and even though he lost that entire dropship force um, just a minute ago, he did a lot of damage. That was, that was maybe, I mean, one of those tanks had 10 kills on it by the time it died. Um, so at least 10 SCVs, I, I'm going to say, died, not to mention all the tanks. And now he's going in for another base. He has scouted out this 3 o'clock base, and he is going to be um, loading up with four dropships going in for it. Let's see if he's going to be able to take it out. Oh, Ooh, it looks like he uh, get a little scared. Yeah, shied away from that single <laughs> missile turret, um, uh, and unfortunately showed his hand a little bit. So I'm, uh, I'm expecting Firebat here to maybe reinforce that even more, uh, put down one or two more turrets. Um, still, though, Lita with a map advantage by far. Now he is uh, in set up position outside of his base, and uh, you know he's got those dropships roaming around that can. Um, you know, go around and stop new expansions as uh, Firebat Hero is trying. And did Firebat Hero finally find the build dropship button? Is that the first dropship <laughs> I've seen from him? Yeah, he's well, played Terran before, right? It is true. <laughs> I, I haven't seen any aggressive drops from him, so I don't understand what he's trying to do here. He's just going to run his tanks around the center of the map and hope that he defeats Lita. That doesn't <laughs> seem like a very good strategy, but um, he does have a dropship now, so maybe we'll see a little counter dropship dropship chess being played yes dropship on dropship action <laughs> that's what we're paying to see um well i mean you're right it's not a great strategy to not have any dropships um although he is uh pushing in and trying to take that center of the map again right w once more um but you know part of that is just because lita has been controlling this map for so long you know uh, firebat hero was forced to put down that early academy and an early armory um, which, you know, takes some of his gas. It takes some time then after that to put down your starport and, uh, you know, get some dropships going. Um, but now, you know, this is what I was talking about, you know, with, with just pushing out just a little bit from his sieged-in position, Firebat Hero is now on the doorstep of the uh, third expansion from Lita. So, you know, that expansion is, you know, close to being breached. And it, is, it does have a little bit of advantage because that's just a narrow bridge um, to defend right there, so it's a little hard to get in. But now that there's a couple dropships out for Firebat Hero, um, he should be able, if he really feels like it, with that many tanks, to come in and do a lot of damage. I don't, I don't see him doing that at all. Because he doesn't know, I mean, he knows that Lita's got a huge mobile force, and Lita is constantly... Uh, scouting and probing uh, Firebat Heroes other areas and Firebat Heroes, you know, he's got a lot of tanks right there, but I think that's one of his larger forces, if anything. I mean, there's his, his mobile uh, dropship unit. Uh, he's not really using that for offense, he's using that for defense. 
Um, and he pulled all those tanks back. It looks like they're all going to uh, to the north uh, northwest, and they're going to try and you know match up bases with Lita now instead of knocking on one of Lita's bases. It makes a lot more sense, I think. Anyways, you'd want to you know, yeah. your economy out, right? Especially since Lita's already got a little bit of an economic lead. You know, FBH doesn't want to be losing more of an economy by losing such a big army. Um, anyways, at this point, we're going to take a real break this time, and uh, we'll catch you up in, I suppose, part three.